Good day, math learners! In this topic, we will discuss about solving problems involving triangle congruence. Example number one. Triangle XYZ is congruent to triangle QRS. If segment XY is equal to 3X plus 19, and segment QR is equal to 5x minus 11. What is the value of x and measure of segment XY? As you can see in the given figure, triangle XYZ and triangle QRS are congruent. Since both triangles are congruent, we can establish the equation. Segment XY is congruent to QR. Therefore, segment XY is equal to segment QR. So it is where our XY found here and our segment QR found here. 3X plus 19, that will be the value of our segment XY. 5X minus 11, that will be the value of our segment QR as stated in the problem. Then isolate the terms with X. So we need to transpose 5X to the other side and 19 to the other side also. From, from positive 19 will turn to minus 19. From positive 5X will turn to negative 5X. Then we need to simplify. 3x minus 5x, and that will be negative 2x. Negative 11 minus 19, that will be negative 30. Then the value of our x is 15. Because negative 30 divided by negative 2, that will turn as positive 15. Why we divide it into negative 2? So that x will remain. We divide both sides by negative 2. We need also to solve for xy or segment xy because we need to find it as stated in the problem. To solve for segment xy using, we need to use the value of our x. That will be segment xy is equal to 3x plus 19 as stated in the problem. So substitute the value of x, which is 15. So 3 times 15 plus 19. Then simplify. 3 times 15 is equal to 45 plus 19. Segment XY is equal to 37. Example number 2. Given triangle XYZ is congruent to triangle QRS. Find the length of the sides of triangle QRS. This will be the solution. Since triangle XYZ is congruent then we can establish the equation as you can see in the figure okay look at the figure first what are the given for those segments or sides then segment xy is congruent to segment qr so qr Segment QR and segment XY are congruent. Therefore, YZ is congruent to segment SR. Then we need to substitute the value of YZ and segment SR. To our equation so that will be 6c minus 2 is equal to 3c plus 4 then we need to isolate the terms with c so 3c will be transposed to this side and negative 2 will be transposed to this side so from positive 3c will turn to negative 3c from negative 2 will turn to positive 2 then simplify 6 c minus 3c that will be 3c is equal to 6 3c is equal to 6 is equal to 2 
but we need to divide the Divide both sides by 3 so that we can eliminate 3 so that C will remain. Therefore, C is equal to 2. C is equal to 2. To solve the value of XY congruent to QR, XY is equal to QR. Substitute the given. 4A minus 2 is equal to 2A plus 2. That will be the given value for our segment xy as well as our segment qr. Then we need to isolate terms with a. So 2a is transposed to the side. Negative 2 will be transposed to the side. 4a minus 2a is equal to 2 plus 2. Then simplify. 4a minus 2a, that will be 2a. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. We need to simplify everything. We need to, what you call this? We need to divide both sides by 2 so that a will remain. 2a over 2 is equal to 4 over 2. 2 divided by 2 will turn as a. 4 divided by 2 and that will be 2. Therefore, A is equal to 2. So we need to find the value of B also by computing this one. XZ is equal to segment QS. Substitute the given. 3B minus 2 is equal to 2B plus 1. This will be the given for our segment XZ. This will be the given for our segment QS. Please take note for that. Then isolate the terms with A. Not A, it's B. So, 3B minus 2B. Negative 2 will transpose and turn into positive 2. That's why 1 plus 2. Then simplify. 3B minus 2B is equal to B. Is e 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And we have the value of our B. Use the solved values of A, B, and C to find the sides of QRS, or known as our triangle QRS, which are segment QS, segment QR, and segment SR. The given QS is equal to 2B plus 1. That will be the, our, the given problem. So, we already have the value B. Then, we need to substitute the value B, which is 3. So, six, 2 times 3 is equal to 6 plus 1. That will be make it into 7. Then we need that QS is equal to 7. Then QR, segment QR. The given problem for segment QR is 3C plus 4. Substitute 2 to the, to the value of C. That will be 3 times 2 plus 4. Simplify. Segment QR is equal to 3 times 2 is 6 plus 4. 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. That will be the value of our segment QR. Now for the last one, for the segment SR, the pr given problem for that is 2A plus 2. Then we need to substitute the value of A, which is 2. 2 times 2 plus 2. Let's simplify. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 2. Then 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. And this will be our segment SR. Therefore, the measure of segment QS is 7 units. Segment QR is 10 units. While segment SR is 6 units. Please take note of everything. Don't forget to answer the given formative assessment. Thank you for listening.